Finally got the drag radios for the Shelby GT500. Here they are. Mickey Thompson, ET Street Radial. Uh, these are actually the ET Street Radial 2. You can tell by the street or the uh, tread pattern. I'm going to take them out in the garage in a moment where there's more light, but I just figured I'd show you this. They're 305, 35R20. So I'm putting these on my stock wheels. Uh, let me roll one out here and show you what they look like. So these are actually a little bit too big for the car. I actually did quite a bit of shopping around for tires for this car. Wheels and tires, you know, I actually placed an order for a set of wheels and tires, but they were sold out. So I just ended up not getting them and I bought the motorcycle instead. Uh, which you can see it back there. I'm going to have to pull this car out. So um, I have an appointment to get these things put on tomorrow since I'm going to put them on the stock tires. I didn't end up getting wheels. So these are a little bit bigger than, I don't know if you can see that, but they're a little bit taller. The stock tires on this 2012 Shelby GT500 are 20 inches on the rear, 19 on the front. And the tire size is 285, 35, 20. These Mickey Thompsons, it's a softer compound and they're 305, 35, 20. So basically they're about 0.75 of an inch wider and um, they're a little bit taller, which you probably can't really tell. So the speedometer is going to be a little bit off until I get that adjusted, but uh, let's roll that out here. We're going to, I'm going to try to put one in the trunk and one in the, uh, passenger door over there, but I got to pull the car out because, uh, that door doesn't open up far enough. So I'll let you see the tires here. Let's start the car up and pull it out now. And then I'm going to roll the tires by that light so you can see them better. I know these GoPros don't really work that well in the dark time. So I got this towel set up here because I'm going to put the tire right there. And I'm going to keep the old tires too that are already on there. Because they're not that bad. Um, you know, I definitely wore them in a little bit. Look at that MPGs right now. Set it zero. All right, let me back this out. I know somebody requested they wanted to see like the interior lights of this car. Um, you can change them to like different colors and stuff. I guess I could do that now a little bit if you want. I want to see that. So this car has uh, the electronics package. Let me roll out these windows. We'll get back to the tires in just a moment. Um, turn on the lights. So the lights are on. And right now I have it on like blue and green. But you can change it to a lot of stuff. And then this thing, honestly, I don't really use this. Like usually I just press the display button to turn it to black so it's not distracting. It's got like the external temperature so you know, you know, how, how warm the roads are for traction. Uh, you can turn it all the way off, but I don't usually turn it all the way off. Sometimes I do. And then, you know, it's got like this touch screen. So it's kind of cool. This is useful sometimes to use navigation but I don't really use it too much. And like air conditioning, I don't really use that stuff too much. Pretty much drive this car with the windows down on warm days. So let's go, let's, uh, I'll show you these uh, lights. We'll get to the tires in a minute. So if you want, you just fast forward, but um, I'll show you the tires in just a moment. I'm gonna get out of here in a moment. Uh, if you go to like info, how do you do this? I haven't done it in a while. Setup. so. Um, Trying to get this GoPro in a good position here. Sorry. So, 
first. Uh, you do setup. It's almost time for an oil change. I should probably just do that tomorrow while I'm there. Uh, steering, I just leave it on sport. So here's the colors. I think you press like reset and you can change it. So now it's like purple, blue, orange, red, uh, red, white, and blue. My color. I made a pink for my girlfriend one day. Uh, here's another one. So there's like presets. Uh, ice blue. So we'll put it on. Let's leave it on blue. So that's one. And then there's also the halo light. So you can turn it on or off. Let's see. I'll leave it on. And then you can choose the color too. So orange, red. Red, red, white, and blue. My color one, my color two, the preset colors. So, I don't know, what do you guys think looks good? Green, purple. I pretty much used all the different colors by now. I'll leave a red for now. Red and blue, that looks cool. Uh, so, we'll press set up here again. And there's ambient light. So, there's like different color lights inside the car too. I leave them on, and you can put them on high or low. I have them on high, and then you get to choose the color. So they're blue, that's red, or that's red. I think I'm going to leave them on red, but yeah, I'll put them on red for now. It's just nice to change them every now and then. Anyway, let's turn this car off. Probably, it's kind of loud sitting here in the neighborhood. So, well, actually, I didn't even put it in a good spot. Let's. Ah, oh, shoot. There's a tree right there. Well, one benefit of a manual, I'm just gonna let it roll back a little bit. I'm sticking out in the street a little bit, but hopefully nobody hits me. Okay, so let's look at these tires. So we're putting them on tomorrow. There's my phone. So I already tested. One fits in the trunk, and I'm going to put the other one in the passenger seat. So here's what they look like. under the bright lights. So you can see Mickey Thompson. And then it's the 305 35R20 uh, ET Street Radio. So that's that. Let's grab the other one. Bring it on out here. This basement's kind of a mess right now. We, we took the stand-up paddle boards out uh, the other day. Just left them down here. I mean, it's summertime. We'll be taking them out again. So I don't want to bring them all the way upstairs. Okay, yeah, so we just got the roof rack on there too, on the juke. So it's good. Stand up paddleboard extension on there. It's pretty sweet. So, all right, I'm gonna try and uh, put these tires in there. Just pop the trunk. So, I already know one's gonna fit in the trunk. Let's see if I can do it one handed. I should weigh these things. I I forget how much, I think they're like, uh, I don't remember, I'm not even going to say. It's kind of heavy, if I had to guess, I'd say one of these weighs 20 pounds. Alright, so here's the trunk. I got some jeans back there for when I go to the drag strip, because you're supposed to wear pants. So bring a pair of pants if you ever go to the drag strip. 
tires sitting in there. One's in the trunk. It just barely fits in there. And we'll see if we can get the other one in the passenger door. <laughs> so, I don't know, should I put the seat back? Here. Maybe like this. I think that'll be fine. I think that'll work. All right, sweet. I won't be racing or anything with this wheel like that in here, but I think that'll work just fine to get there and back. So if you guys are wondering, this set of uh, wheels or tires will fit in your car. Two wheel. I don't think, you probably can't see in the back, but I mean, you could probably fit one more tire back there and if you drop the seats the rear seats I don't the space I don't think I don't think that a tire would fit in the little compartment that goes from the trunk to the rear seat area all right so let's put this car back inside and then I'll show you guys uh, show you what it looks like on the car and give you my review and stuff. It's always a little bit scary coming in here. You gotta be careful not to clip the mirror. Not clip the motorcycle. Not crash into the wall. good so yeah we're, I'm going to the dealership tomorrow and um, I'm gonna get the tires installed so doing that at 11 o'clock tomorrow unfortunately it's supposed to be kind of rainy this week so I don't know when I'll get a chance to make a video but I'm pretty excited about these drag radials because like the stock tires on this car I mean it's warm now you know it's been like in the 80s so like the stock tires on this car are pretty good, but first gear, they don't hook up. And second gear, they don't really hook up that well. They kind of hook up. I mean, they, they still lose traction, but you can get some pretty good pulls in second gear. And then third gear, pretty much only when you shift into third gear, they'll chirp. I've had them chirp going into fourth gear too at like 100 or something like that. If you look in like my previous videos, you'll see that. Um, but these drag radials, I'm pretty excited because like I'm getting kind of used to the car and used to the power now. Like it's still like awesome to drive, but like I'm ready for that next thing, you know. I'm ready I'm ready for a little perform performance improvement. So I think I these are a softer compound on this, like just like the touch, like I can like like it just feels like sticky already. And they're not even like warmed up, you know, like when you do a burnout or drive them on the road, they warm up more. Um, but compared to, I'll show you these. 
Well, you're not really going to be able to tell. Gotta be careful not the door ding. <laughs> Both of our cars are pretty dirty right now. But, yeah. So these, like right now, these just feel like slippery almost and really hard. So, I mean, on the side here, so more soft, but these tires are pretty worn out. And I know you can't really see, but I think I'm gonna maybe get a second pair of stock wheels and we'll do some burnouts on these ones later, but I just wanna get these drag radials on. Anyway, though, I just wanna show you the drag radials. I'll show you what it looks like on the car. It's gonna be, they're gonna be um, sticking out probably a little bit because they're three fourths of an inch wider than this wheel. I did like an online calculator thing. And I mean, they just look bigger and meatier than these tires for sure. So the new ones are gonna be sticking out a little bit. I think it's gonna give it a much more aggressive look. Um, and it's gonna be sitting up a little bit higher in the back. Like I think the diameter of these tires came out to be like an inch bigger. So uh, it's probably gonna be sitting up about a half an inch taller on the back. And this wheel well will be filled in an extra like half inch just from the biggest tire. So pretty excited about tomorrow and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So peace guys, uh, subscribe and look around my other videos. You'll be happy with, uh, you know, my other GT500 videos I have out there. So, all right guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow.